Uh, hello, so Cedric, I have now less than five minutes to tell you about Data Fire Enterprise, Enterprise Search, what you can and cannot do with the open source edition. So I'm the CEO co-founder of France Labs. We are the software maker behind Data Fari. So first, because I had the question on LinkedIn, what is Enterprise Search in the context of our talk here? It's an enterprise search application that enables employees to find all the information that the company possesses without the need to know where the information is stored. And I added to this definition securely and the definition comes from the book of Martin White called Enterprise Search. Um, so about France Labs, we'll skip that one because we don't have time. Enterprise Search, how does that work? Lucian talked about it a bit uh, in his lightning talk, so I gained some time. So before I go into the can and cannot, let me tell, show you how you can, if it's easy to install Data Fire, actually, Community Edition. So you have your uh, Linux console, you type docker pool data ferry slash data ferry slash ce data ferry. You type enter. Well, I cheated because I already downloaded it because it takes two minutes and we have just five. Um, and then you just have to execute the command, uh, which is documented on our Docker Hub. Let me copy paste. You do that. Um, yeah, I'm doing up. Okay, and then, then it goes on, but it takes five to seven minutes. So you have to trust me that it works. And once it is deployed, you access to your user interface uh, on the web, which is similar to this one. Obviously, there's nothing. So you log in to manage your system. Okay, now you go to the main and we will add some data to your Data Fairy Community Edition. So this is part of the things you can do. So it's a simplified mode. Uh, let's index our web page, our website uh, quickly. Seconds are flying. Uh, come. Mm -hmm. So this is for the etiquette. Uh, let's say it's our website. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. And we start right away. Okay. And uh, while this is going on, uh, let's go back to the presentation. Bum, 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 bum. So oh no, I wanted full screen. Uh, wait a minute. Shook, shook. And I click here. Yeah. So uh, what you can do, so you can you can crawl multiple sources and multiple formats because this is enterprise search, many systems to crawl. So this is do a feasible things to Apache Manifold CF. This is led by Carl Wright, where you can do your indexing pipeline, manage your time windows, the bandwidth of crawling, etc. And also thanks to Apache Tika led by Tim Allison. And this is about indexing as many formats as, as you can dream of uh, and manage out of memories for strange PDFs, for instance. Then it's about searching. Uh, mostly with BM25 because it's the default search algorithm provided by Apache Solar, which we embed. We provide the front end, which is Ajax France Labs and soon Data for UI in beta version. We provide internationalization. You can analyze because we embed also open distro and soon open search. We also provide lots of logs that you can dig into. And also it's about management. So we provide a user interface to manage graphically your data ferry, but you also have the manifold CF admin UI and the Solar admin UI. What does it not allow you to do? Because it's important to know what you cannot do. And again, this is about not easily managing because we don't prevent you to do all the things I'm going to mention. It's just that we, we provide it as the enterprise edition that has a license cost because, yeah, we need to convince you to, to pay for something uh, so that we can survive. And so what I'm going to list here is not forbidden. It's just that you need to do build it by yourself. So security. You have to build yourself the system to manage the ACL, access control list retrieval at indexing time, and how to connect to Active Directory, LDAP for authorization, authentication, SSO, etc. Then about managing big data. So is, we provide the enterprise edition install scripts to manage your clusters, solar cloud, or also to externalize components such as manifold CF. This you have to do by yourself. Restarting graphically data ferry, backupping data ferry, this kind of systems also you have to do by yourself. So most, mostly the production part. Many more, but I don't have time. But again, we don't prevent you to doing it. We don't compile some components that we hide how it works. Everything is very transparent. So now if I go back to the uh, demonstration, uh, which is somewhere, uh, somewhere here, uh, and I go back to the search interface, and it works. So we have indexed things, and you can see typically this is you have default facets, you have the search results, you have preview mechanisms, you have advanced search, you can save your searches, you have favorites, etc. All this is provided in the open source edition. Okay, and in the admin UI. Uh, you can do many things. Uh, you can manage uh, promo links, which are Google, like Google Alerts. You can manage your synonyms, the field weights of BM25. All these things are graphical. And here is a quick look of the next uh, UI, the Safari UI. 
energy. Uh, so this, will, this is based on React, and you can embed it as a div in, in any framework you have, as long as you know how to use React. We have documented that. Uh, so that's it, 16 seconds. I, will, I am on time. I'm really proud of myself. Uh, I, I'm sure I can have some applause. So to summarize, to do everything, start from datafire.com slash en slash download.html. Use the container. It's easier. If you're on Windows, maybe you should use the VM appliance, but really container is for gigs. Uh, my time is over, but I will take a few seconds more. Lots of documentation is on the confluence that we provide. Like we have 200 or 300 pages. The code is on GitLab and with a mirror on GitHub. We have a Twitter account, a Twitter tag. And with it, I'm done with just 15 seconds delay. So thank you. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Cedric. Uh, well, yeah, so I was wondering if there's a flagship deployment of Datafari with a particular use case that you could briefly summarize. Like ship, yeah. I mean, we we we're moving. Into, it's, it's a three years project, but we are we're finalizing the the move into production for the um, the DGA, which is a one 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 element of the French army. So that's pretty cool. But it's the enterprise edition. It's not the community edition. Uh, so yes, so, so, sorry for the answer. They, they kind of wanted the part about security, uh, surprisingly. So oh, I see. So you can't talk about it. You can't talk about how great the product is for for them. I understood, understood. But um, is there perhaps another um, use case uh, deployment that you're particularly proud of that, that you could share with us, either of the enterprise or the open source edition? It's mostly enterprise because uh, surprisingly, many of the open source users don't say that they use it. I, I don't know why they are shy or something like that. But uh, I'm familiar the, with that uh, problem. Sometimes you've got to bribe them, you know, t-shirts and hats yeah. seem to work for me. <laughs> We, we try the t-shirts, but uh, yeah, no, the, um, we are in production use that a free enterprise edition in, um, in, in, po in nuclear power plants in, uh, in um, Belgium. Uh, it's a company called Tractable. Uh, and they use it to uh, um, assist the uh, maintenance operators to quickly find the documentation they need to, to work on the, on the nuclear equip equipment. So this one was quite, uh, quite nice. Uh, all kinds of uh, deployments. Uh, interesting.